day, Lady Sharona again with another question and answer segment. And this question is all the way from Australia again, and it's my actual cousin, Julie Hoffman. Hi, Julie. Hi, Sue, Auntie Colleen, everybody. Um, and she wrote the interesting question was, what really went on in Salem with the, the witch hangings back in the um, 1600s? And she, she mentioned ergo poisoning, which may have contributed as a lot of the crops went moldy at that time. But um, having studied psychology for a long time, I think really what happened was that everybody there was so repressed. I mean, they could only wear gray or black. They weren't allowed to sing or dance or read anything but the Bible. And one day this uh, Caribbean lady, Tituba, started entertaining some of the girls, probably feeling sorry for them, and telling them ghost stories. Now, if you can imagine in the 1600s, there's no electricity. So when it's dark at night, it's really dark. And they're little girls. And their imaginations that were already very stifled from their upbringing um, had to sort of give way. And what happened, it was a mass hysteria that everybody jumped on the bad wagon. There was nothing else to do, basically. It's like probably the most exciting thing that happened in the town in years. Uh, not that they would express it that way, but really, on a psychological level, I think that's exactly what was going on. They'd been so repressed and so bored, and now they had the devil in Salem. So everybody caught the fever, so to speak. I think it was much more a case of mass hysteria than ergo poisoning, although, as I said, that could have been a contributor that made it perhaps a little bit more easier for them to jump on the bandwagon. But repression in a society will always explode. It never works. If you look at any society that's been extremely repressed in the past, sooner or later it blows up. And that's what happened in Salem, Massachusetts. Bye, Aziz.